It is good to meet you. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Um, so Yadi, which yeah. we all know is Idris's first feature film, yeah. directorial debut. Yeah. What is it like working with someone on their first film that they are directing as opposed to, you know, working with someone who's maybe been doing it for ages? Yeah. I didn't feel like I was working with a first time director at all. At all. I've worked with first time directors mm -hmm. and he didn't feel like that. He just was ridiculously prepared. Um, so much so, you know, he gifted me this part basically on a plane and, and we spent the better half of 18 months working on it and just putting me into the mindset of where I would need to be for D. Um, you know, I traveled to Jamaica, I stayed there for a while, lived there for two months. And so he's very, very smart yeah. and ballsy. You know, he shot B-cam on his movie. I was a fan of Idris. It was, it was more amazing when I found out he was a director. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I thought he was like an executive, well, he's an executive <laughs> yeah. producer, but I thought he would have been behind the scenes and probably he would yeah. pop in and out. I didn't know I'd be spending every day with this man, you know what I mean? So it was amazing and he's really, really cool. Like he's the chillest person. Like he's just like this all the time. He's cool. Yeah. We all know he is super cool. What's it like um, him describing you as his partner in crime? I like it, man. I like that. I like it. He might be gassing me, <laughs> but I like it. Um, we, we spoke actually, you know, I think we, I mean, we had really good days. Yeah. We would speak about doing projects, more, you know, more yardies. If, because there's two more books, you know, and we spoke about, we flirted around the idea of doing other films together, okay. um, a little bit of Marvin Gaye or something like that. So, um, but you know, he's a busy man. He's a busy man. So we'll see what the future holds. When you were younger, and I know you're not that old right now, but when you were, <laughs> when you were younger, were you uh, were you a bit of a troublemaker like D, or were you someone who kind of followed the rules and did what you were told? I followed the rules, and I'll tell you why. In Jamaica, right? When you do something bad, your parents will beat you, like with belts. And I was afraid of beating, right? My sister is the one, my older sister would always get the beating because she's rude. <laughs> but I was always afraid. And then I was so skinny. So like, even if I did get in trouble, my mom would look at me, she's like, I don't even know where to stop it because you're so... So I would just, I would, I was a good girl for most of the time. Okay. Like most of the time. Yeah. Just didn't get caught the rest of the time. No. <laughs> Today. Look at this smile. Do I look like a troublemaker? <laughs> that <laughs> smile looks like someone who will try and get away with murder. Right, right. No, 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 no. Um, absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't as sexy and cool as the. I went to stage school to be here today speaking to you. So, no, I was uh, I was just, I was a, yeah, nerd almost. Cool nerd. A cool nerd? I call myself a cool nerd. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what Idris would probably describe himself as as well. So. Yeah, I think he's just cool. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Like the stuff in the school at home, <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs>